You got to be saved from the from your enemies and from the hand of all that hate you, according to this word. But look at that, uh, Luke 1 and 68 to 71. That's, what, that's how we got to be saved, y'all. Read that. Luke chapter 1 and verse 16. Of Israel. So first and foremost, it say, Blessed be the Lord power of Israel, not the whole world. Israel, talking about the 12 tribes of Israel Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Naphtali, Asher, and Issachar. Those are the 12 tribes of Israel. It says, The Lord power of Israel. Read. For he has visited and redeemed his people. He has visited and redeemed his people. Once again, his is what? A personal pronoun showing ownership. <laughs> his people. A certain people. Who are you? If you want to be, because a lot of you don't want to be, so you're not going to be going into the kingdom. If you are, going to be dragged in this. So like it talks about how some of y'all going to be dragged into the kingdom. You're going to be made to, sub to subject yourself to this power, this big black man that's coming. Everybody ain't going to see him. Don't worry about it. Somebody say, hey, Christ came back. Now don't worry about that because he said every eye is going to see him. All y'all going to see him. You ain't going to miss him. That's right. You ain't going to miss him. You better believe that. You ain't going to better turn your head around because you're going to see him. I don't care if you're in the deepest depths of the earth. You're going to see Cause he made everything, he gonna make everything disappear. So every eye gonna see him. Ain't nobody gonna miss him when he come back. Three. And had us raised up a horn, a salvation for us. You know that he have raised up a horn, which is a power for us, the children of Israel. Read. In the house of his servant David. In the house of his servant David. I Meaning he come from the lineage of King David, who was of the tribe of Judah also. Read. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. You know that? As he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets that were speaking through the spirit of the Most High. Since the world began. You hear this? Since the world began. He was speaking to his holy prophets, just like he's speaking to his holy prophets right now. To you, if you were here, hopefully you will hear the truth and come back because it's going to be a whole lot of disasters happening on this earth. Right here in California. Right here. You're going to see it. If you live, the most I don't take you out before that time comes. You better come back to this truth. Read. This all you got. You have nothing else to depend on but our power, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. Who else you gonna call on to go to the heavenly Father? When, you, when the Most High said, "Hey," he, he said, "I'm going back to my place because you have offended me." He said, hey, "You have offended him." So in your affliction, you gonna seek him early. He gonna keep on afflicting us until we get it right, until we cry unto him and realize that we do not have no power here, but we only have a power that's through him. He wants he want to see a broken and a contrite spirit of humility approach, approaching him. I dare people think they got the power to go to the Heavenly Father. You don't have that kind of power. He didn't give us that kind of power. Except for through his son, his only begotten son, of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. So he is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man come to the Father but by him. But by him. He's the only power. And you, a lot of you don't know, but you're going to cry out. We all going to cry. Everybody, all these tears going to come from our eyes. The hardest, the hardcore is male. He's going to be on his knees crying like a baby. So I know what you women going to be doing. Huh. Y'all the weaker vessel too? You better hear the word of the Most High. He said men going to be scared. They're going to be afraid during the times that's coming. Read. Luke chapter 1 and verse 71. That we should be saved from our enemies. So we got to be saved from our enemies. And from who else? And from the hand of all that hate us. Right. We got to be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Don't y'all know y'all wrong people that don't like you? They said no laws to set, to set you, make sure you got 
got a job to take care of your family. They ain't set up nothing that's going to make sure that you ain't going to walk on the street, walk in the streets, brother, and make sure that you got to ask somebody for anything. I mean, we all in this situation together. And the ghettos are some all over America. And we straight preaching this word to all those that's going to hear in many different ways and forms and fashions. The most I don't care about how you feel. He know how you feel. He know how your face, he say, hey, he know your face is made like flint, right? He made our face like an anvil. So every time you want to come with something, he going to give us something to cut you even harder. Where? In this word. In this word, because it cut you the marrow or the bone. Can discern all your thoughts. Precisely. Cut you more better than the surgeon. <laughs> Who's the better surgeon than the most high? Y'all better hear the word of the most high. So we got to be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Who hates us? Give me Ezekiel 35. There's some people that hate you and you don't even realize it. Y'all walk around thinking of your friend. This ain't not something that we making up. That's why we challenge all your theologians and your archaeologists and your anthropologists and your uh, preachers and so-called scholars to come forth. If we're not teaching the truth, don't you know by now, if we weren't teaching the truth, somebody would have came up against us and shut us, tried to shut this truth down? The way they talk about, we the number one uh, threat of America. If they had that power, they would come up against what it is that we're bringing forth here. And we ask you every week, we've been here a whole year, ask you to come forth, bring your preachers or whoever it is that you think is teaching the truth. If we're not teaching the truth, read this, and it's not bragging, it's about what's a fact, according to this word of the Most High, and representing our power, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, because y'all ain't representing them, y'all preachers ain't representing them in them pork chop eating churches, read this, Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 1, moreover the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, yeah, set your face against Mount Seir, what does that mean to you? All you that go to church, what does that mean to you? What mean nothing to you? That's why we all have to be taught. Mount Seir is the land that the Most High gave to the so-called Caucasians. The indigenous Caucasian people. You know them as so-called white people. Mount Seir, they were given the mountains. A mountainous area called Mount Seir. They set your face against the so-called Caucasians. That's who he's talking to. I do mean, eat them wrong, that's what it means. Hey, reach up to verse 5. Because we're looking for who the enemies are. Read that. Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 5. But we got to be saved from our enemies from the hand of all that hate us. People, read that. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. A what? A perpetual hatred. They don't have a perpetual hatred. Read. It has shed the blood of the church of Israel. It has shed the blood of the most high chosen people that we talking about here. The chosen people that have shed the blood of the children of Israel until this day. Read. By the force of the sword in the time of their calamity. In the time of our calamity. When we going into captivity. The white folks were saying, there they are over there. When the Babylonians took into captivity. Persia means, there they are over there. All the time pointing us out. Catching us just until they caught us and brought us here in America. And took us off our land. And sent, sent us to Peru and all different parts of Europe. And so forth. Scattered us all over the, into the, all these nations. No one of your friends did that. Did they vote to do that? Did they take a vote to do this? Hell no. The Most High is telling you this. Read. In the time that their iniquity had an end. The time our iniquity had an end. Here they come with this perpetual hatred. See, our iniquity have an end now. We'd have, we'd have paid the price of slavery after slavery after slavery after slavery. And they still hating on us. 